Hey guys, it's Carrie. I've got some really interesting animals today. Jaguar. Due to their extra jaw strength, they have an unusual killing technique that is quite effective. A powerful bite that pierces the back of the skull. Other big cats typically bite the neck or throat of their prey, which is a much softer and more vulnerable target. They prefer to live in dense tropical rainforest, particularly in the Amazon rainforest. American Black Bear They are considered sister taxa to the Asian Black Bears and are more closely related to each other than to other modern species of bears. Their fur is soft with dense under fur and long coarse thick guard hairs. The fur is not as shaggy or coarse as that of brown bears. They show a great deal of colour variation in their coats. American black bears are excellent and strong swimmers, swimming for pleasure and to feed largely on fish. They are able to climb trees, to feed, escape enemies and hibernate. Komodi or spirit bear. These bears are rare. They are only found in British Columbia. Only 1% of black bears has white fur. Brown bear, grizzly bear or Kodiak bear. They have very large and curved claws. Those present on the forelimbs being longer than those on the hind limbs. Their claws can grow up to 10 centimeters or four inches along the curve. They are generally dark with a lighter tip. Brown bear claws are longer and straighter than those of the American black bears. The claws are blunt while those of the black bear are sharp. Bears are foraging carnivores, meaning they would much rather find food than hunt it. A keen sense of smell allows bears to identify prey through odour much more effectively than other senses. Cave bear. It is a prehistoric species of bear that lived in Europe and Asia during the Pleistocene and became extinct about 24,000 years ago. They were much larger than the grizzly bear weighing twice as much as a grizzly bear and taller. Tiger It shows its intelligence when it adopts strategies when hunting. Instead of chasing its prey in a disorderly manner, it waits for the right moment to attack, a period during which it may remain motionless for quite a long time. Because of its solitary life, Unlike lions, the tiger always needs to do better to survive on its own and subsequently acquires far more skills without the support of a group. Chameleon. They are famous for their quick colour changing abilities. Most times they change colour to regulate their temperature or to signal their intentions to other chameleons. They are unable to generate their own body heat so by changing the colour of their skin is a way to maintain a favourable body temperature. A cold chameleon may become dark to absorb more heat whereas a hotter chameleon may turn pale to reflect the sun's heat. They will use bold colours to communicate. Males become bright to signal their dominance and turn dark in aggressive encounters. Females can let males know if they're willing to mate by changing the colour of their skin. Okapi. They have a head to body length of up to 210 centimetres and a shoulder height up to 170 centimetres. 
their body weight can be as much as 300 kilograms. Females are larger than males. They are endemic to the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa, where they inhabit dense damp forests on both sides of the Congo River. Polar bear. They travel long distances over vast desolate expanses, generally on drifting oceanic ice flows, searching for seals, its favourite prey. Except for one subspecies of grizzly bear, the polar bear is the largest and most powerful carnivore on land. It has no natural predators and is an extremely dangerous animal. It hunts with incredible speed, enormous strength and a tremendous sense of smell and a deadly bite. They have strong sharp claws which are important for gaining traction and for digging through ice and for killing prey. Albino bull python. The name bull python refers to its tendency to curl into a ball when stressed or frightened. Green anaconda. Like all boas, it is a non-venomous constrictor. It is the world's heaviest and one of the world's longest snakes, reaching a length of up to 5.21 metres, which is 17 feet. Although it is slightly shorter than the reticulated python, it is far bulkier. Their loosely connected jaw bones allow them to swallow prey larger than the size of its head. Giraffe They are most active during the early and late hours of the day, especially in warmer climates. In their active hours, they spend time moving, feeding and ruminating. The hottest part of the day is spent resting and ruminating which means chewing their pre-digested food. They often stand in the shade or orient their bodies towards the sun to reduce sun exposure. During the night, they will sleep and rest, move and feed and ruminate. They sleep for short periods of time, day and night, typically no more than a couple of hours at a time. You can usually see their ears twitching and their eyes half open. They will lie down during part of the night but mostly sleep standing up. Sub-adult males play fight with one another. Adult males use horns and heavily ossified skulls during combative interactions. They use their head to slam into the neck, body or legs of another giraffe, like a club. Less intense encounters would involve necking, using their necks against each other or leaning on each other. With reproduction, the dominant male will check the females in the herd by testing the odour of the female's genital area and urine. This is done with a Bomero nasal organ. He follows her. He rests his chin on her back or uses his forelegs to tap on her hind leg, signaling that he is ready to mate. She allows him to mount her. The male rears up on his hind legs and mounts her from behind. Copulation lasts for a few seconds and may be repeated two or three times. A female will canter away to avoid a courting male. The male giraffe's sexual organ or penis is about one metre in length. Zebra they are one of the many beautiful creatures 
inhabiting Eastern and Southern Africa. The great migration of zebra and wildebeest across the Serengeti in Tanzania and Kenya includes about 750,000 zebras and 2 million mammals overall. This takes place during the dry season. Zebras enjoy a symbiotic relationship with wildebeest for a number of reasons. There is safety in numbers against predators like lions, with zebras preferring taller grasses and wildebeest liking shorter. They can graze together in harmony while being able to alert each other of dangers around them. Zebras travel about 300 miles or 480 kilometers on the round trip on their migration. Zebras use memory to determine their route and where to go, even more so than the current vegetation conditions. This means though, it may be hard for zebras to change their route caused by changing conditions. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.